I've taught British English to thousands of students and in today's lesson I'm going to share the number one thing that you need to do to speak English with a lovely British accent. I'm also going to teach you the one exception that will help you speak more naturally, more fluently and more quickly. Now before I teach you this rule I have to say that you've probably been making this pronunciation mistake for years and if you actually want to change and improve you need to speak speak and speak it's like learning the rules of tennis without actually playing tennis you simply have to practice if you want to improve if you're having difficulties finding opportunities to practice your spoken english there are a couple of things i recommend you do one is simply speaking out loud to yourself yes it sounds weird but talking out loud and describing what you see and expressing your thoughts in english are just a great way to train your brain to express yourself in english yes you might look a bit weird if you do this in the middle of the street but i recommend you do it at home in the kitchen in the car places where people aren't going to look at you as if you're a bit crazy and another way you can improve is with the teacher ai app they've just released a new and much improved app for apple and android and the best thing is you can practice with me on the app well not actually me but my ai clone but it really feels like you're having a conversation with greg on this app let me show you what i mean hi greg what are some fun ways that you can help me improve my spoken english i can help you improve your spoken english in a fun way by one having casual conversations about your interests two playing word games or quizzes three role playing different situations like going to a restaurant four sharing fun facts on topics you like and discussing them what kind of activities do you enjoy the most can we role play a job interview sure let's do a role play for a job interview i'll be the interviewer welcome can you please introduce yourself and tell me a little bit about your background yeah my name is greg and i am a how do you say professor de inglés in english professor de inglés is english teacher in english all the ai teachers are bilingual which means they understand your native language and the language you are learning and they know absolutely everything too <laughs> look at this how many dogs are there in the world it's estimated that there are about 900 million dogs worldwide they are popular pets and companions do you have a dog or any pets another cool thing is that it tracks your progress so you can see how many words you understand and how many different words you have used and you can easily review that new vocabulary another thing i love is that if you don't understand something you can just click the translation button and it will translate a word or a whole sentence into your language there are currently 25 languages on the app i use it to improve my french and italian and you can try it free and start practicing your spoken english with me by clicking the link in the description or by using that qr code on the screen so that is a great way to practice this pronunciation rule but what is the rule well listen carefully perhaps you've heard it before it's about the letter r can you hear how i pronounce it when we have a vowel sound plus the letter r in british english listen what happens cat cart head heard gill girl pot Port, hot, hurt. Can you hear? That's right. When we have a vowel sound followed by the letter R in British English, the letter R changes the vowel sound and makes it long, but we don't pronounce the letter R. Listen to the words again with the letter R. Cart, heard, girl, port hurt 
Did I pronounce the letter R in any of those words? No. And if you look at the phonetic transcriptions of these words, you'll see two little dots in the middle. And this shows that it's a long vowel sound. Now, I won't talk too much about phonetics now, but it's the best way to understand pronunciation, in my opinion. And you can very quickly learn phonetics with the PDF that I made for you. There's a link up there. You can follow the QR code there. And once you understand phonetics, everything you learn about English pronunciation makes sense. Trust me, it's a great investment of your time. Now, as I said earlier, there are two exceptions to this rule. I'm going to teach you one in this lesson. But before I tell you what they are, you might be thinking, hey, Greg, Americans pronounce the letter R, so why can't I? Well, yeah, North Americans, Scottish, Irish, many accents in the English speaking world pronounce the letter R in these situations. And that's fine. But if you want to speak, for example, with an American English accent, you must master the American R sound. What you must not do is what a lot of my students do when they start learning with me. And that is pronouncing the R from their mother tongue, which usually sounds like this. Here, there, bird, party, better. Teacher, if you want to speak with a clear, easy to understand British English accent, you don't even need to worry about how to pronounce the R in these situations. Just don't pronounce it if it follows a vowel sound. But remember, there is one important exception to this rule, and that is when we have a vowel sound followed by the letter R, the letter R is silent unless the next sound is a vowel sound. And I said a vowel sound, not a vowel letter. So, for example, in the word care, the letter after the letter R is a vowel letter. So this changes nothing. The letter R is silent. Care. But in the word caring, the sound after the letter R is a vowel sound, the I sound. So in these situations, we pronounce the letter R. Caring. Now, before I tell you a more advanced part of this rule, let's have a look at a few other examples. Experience. Experience. Variety. Variety. Carrot, carrot, wherever, wherever. Now, I've actually just used an example of the more advanced version of this rule. Did you hear? I said, let's have a look at a few other examples. Other examples. Did you hear? Although this word, other, ends in a silent R, in this situation, we pronounce it other examples. And we pronounce it because the next sound in the sentence is a vowel sound. Now this is called the linking R. I talk about it all the time with the students inside all my courses, as it is a major, major rule that not many people learn, but it's a rule that can really, really help you speak more fluently, more naturally, more clearly, and also to improve your listening skills in English. Now, without this linking R, you would hear things like this. Other example. Better option. Far away. Her eyes. Your idea. Bad weather again, or bad weather again. You see, if you do this, you either speak like a robot with gaps between the words, or you say the words together in a way that makes both words hard to understand, like weather again. It's not clear that it's weather and again. But with the linking R, it's clearer to understand each word and 
it helps you speak more naturally, more fluently, and just better English. Okay, better English. Other example, better option, far away, her eyes, your idea, bad weather again. Isn't that better? Now, I've got a few sentences that I want you to practice together with me right now. And before I show you them on screen, let's just have a quick review of what you've learned so far. When you have a letter R after the vowel sound in English, the letter R is silent. The letter R simply changes the vowel sound that comes before it and makes it a long vowel sound. The silent R after vowels makes your pronunciation sound more British, clearer and easier to understand. And when a word ends in a silent R and the next word begins with the vowel sound, we pronounce the R in an English r, r, r way to make both words easier to understand. And if you're finding this useful, by the way, and want more British English pronunciation and grammar lessons to help take your English to an advanced level, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot of really cool videos coming up and you don't want to miss them. Okay, let's practice this pronunciation together. Now, I'm going to say five sentences twice. The first time I say them, listen to me carefully. And the second time, say them with me at the same time and try to imitate my pronunciation as closely as possible. Let's go. My mother and father live in the north of England. My mother and father live in the north of England. My brother lives far away, near London. My brother lives far away, near London. She bought her own car yesterday. She bought her own car yesterday. It's a better idea than hers. It's a better idea than hers. The weather is great today. It's hotter than Thursday. The weather is great today. It's hotter than Thursday. Great job. And if you want to learn a load of other pronunciation rules to help you speak more clearly, then you're going to love that video there. So I'll see you there. Bye for now.